I found Jesus Christ calling himself the Son of Man. So I wanted the priest to tell me, why do Christians call him the Son of God if he called himself the Son of Man? I found Jesus Christ in three places asked, what is the most important commandment? And he said, no, O Israel, your God is one God. And I couldn't find the Trinity anywhere. I said, well, if the Trinity is not in the Bible, why are people teaching it? Why are people believing it? Why are people following it? Why are people professing it? And they said, well, it's first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. And I found out that that's a forgery. It doesn't exist in the original manuscripts, which is why it has been modified in the more modern Bibles. It is why you do not any longer find in the reputable Bibles published in modern day, you do not find it talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. You don't find that anymore because the scholars of modern times have recognized that that was a misleading insertion. As Schofield's reference Bible states, it's an interpolation. It's a misleading insertion. I wanted the priest to answer these questions for me, and I never found a single one of any sect anywhere who could. I felt almost more lost than before. I believed in what Jesus Christ taught. I believed that he was a prophet. I believed in God as one God. I believed that man's relation with God is direct, without intercessor. I believed that we are accountable for our actions. I could not believe that we carried the taint of original sin, a sin that we never committed. I was at odds with Trinitarian theology, but I was in agreement with everything Jesus Christ taught. And I found these two to be different. And no priest could explain this to me. For a couple of years, I was searching, not finding anything, because in the West, in America, really about the last religion most people even think to consider is Islam. It wasn't until I learned about Islam, about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that everything suddenly made sense. Everything fell in place. The Old Testament's prediction of three prophets to follow, John the Baptist being one, Jesus Christ being two. Who is the third? The prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Everything else fell in, in place. All of the teachings of Jesus Christ, his teaching that God is one, his teaching that the prophets, including himself, were men, his teaching that we are directly accountable to God without intercessor, no saints in the way, no priests that you have to make confession to or seek absolution from. No, our account is directly to God without intercessor. And I found the consistency in the creed throughout the chain of revelation. This was my reason for embracing Islam. I found in Islam the answer to my search in the continuity of the chain of revealed revelation. I found Islam as the conclusion in the chain of revelation. 